Yeah, I'm going to be uh, cleaning out my well, but before I pump the water out, I want to shock the system with uh, chlorine or just plain bleach. Now this uh, well is 12 feet deep and uh, 36 inches in diameter, so all total she holds about uh, 2,400 liters of water. So the pros say to uh, shock a good shock you need uh, 200 parts per million, which uh, calculates out with this well to be about uh, between six and seven liters of uh, home chlorine. So I'm just taking this bleach and uh, it's uh, 3.6 liters, so two jugs should do this uh, well. And when you're handling bleach, make sure you have uh, old clothes on that you don't mind staining. And uh, make sure you put on gloves and your uh, safety goggles. Now I'm just splashing some along the wall there, just to disinfect that too. I made myself a little uh, mixer here. There. Okay, now I'm going to try to uh, flush the uh, treated water through the system. Now I'm going to let this run until I uh, uh, smell chlorine, or I'm going to see uh, dirty water because I mixed up the sediment while I was mixing it in there. So once this turns brown or I get a chlorine smell, not yet. Okay, there the the water turned uh, dirty. Yeah, geez, yeah, I can smell that chlorine. So now I'm going to let the system sit for around 24 hours. Okay, it's been uh, around 20 hours since I uh, shocked the well with chlorine and now it's time to pump it out. Okay, I'm going to lift this cover off because it just makes it a little easier for seeing down in the well and cleaning it out. You don't have to do this if you really don't want to. So I just run an iron pole through these hooks and then lift one side up, stick a board under. Okay, this is my uh, water pump. I rented this uh, from Acadia Rental right here in Bridgewater. And it's real easy to operate. This is the uh, discharge pipe. Flip in the place. Sure. Up in the pipe. There. Now, I'll put some. Prime that. Back on. Now we want to put this in the well. down. But remember, once the water gets down to the foot valve, you got to stop spraying. You don't want to pump your, uh, your system dry. Yep, there she's going good. There's my uh, water pipe. And while you got this uh, going down, make sure just inspect your crocs. Make sure you don't have a crack in your crocs. And there's no uh, roots or anything growing in through any of the seams. Okay, now that I got it pumped out, I'm just going to 
slightly brush the walls and all I have here is a if you can see that that's just a brush I got uh, stapled to the end of a piece of strapping that well looks pretty clean actually okay now that I got it brushed out I'm gonna put my cover back on and wait for the water to fill up and then I want to pump it out again It's been uh, 12 hours since I pumped the well out and it's filled back up. Now all I have to do is to uh, flush out the water system. Now what I want to do is I want to flush this water out to get all the chlorine that could be left in the system. What you want to do is just let it run. Now there's still a little chlorine there. Okay, the uh, the water's been running now for a few minutes, and uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't smell any chlorine at all. So the uh, the water line and the pumping area is cleared of uh, chlorine. Now all I have to do is just uh, turn the faucets on in the house, in the bathroom and in the kitchen and drain them for a few minutes and we're all done.